Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to more enjoyment of Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Chad, if you're 3 and we remain in Lothric Castle, but only for so long. Because, not gonna be the boss fight yet, that will be this episode, but first off, I want to go up here and finish up basically the rest of the non-boss portion of Lothric Castle. Then we'll deal with the boss, then I'll probably deal with a bit of the Grand Archives, because this is gonna be one of those episodes that's kind of split half and half. Also, monsters. Mostly fairly simple ones, and I think there's someone that- Yeah, there's the big axe dude. As we all know, I- All right, exploding bolts. Right. Anyway, as we all know, I'm not a big fan of axe dudes. All right, there's gotta be a way around this. Probably. I prefer the direct approach right now. Get the axe dude over here. As long as they're away from the crossbow wielders, then we're good. Okay. Ha! Easy! Alright. That is the one challenge of the area done. And now it's just a matter of just putting the knife to these things. Ooh, that was actually kind of handy. Move forward at just the right time. Well, you're done. And now we move on. There should be a priest and a knight down here. And I think maybe a mimic. I'm trying to remember. But there's all this stuff. And actually, I just remember there is actually one other section I missed way earlier on. I'm gonna have to go back to that, too. It just, it, there's a winged knight, or one of those winged cathedral knights. It's not a huge deal. But I do get more stuff. And that's why we're here. Looting! I guess I've never really gone into that in earlier detail, but yeah, pretty much. Village remains knight's ring, which I believe increases strength. Let's see, that one... Yes, it does. It increases strength, not... A particularly useful stat for this build, but it has been useful for me in the past, so good ring. There's Knight's Ring, Scholar's Ring, and another one I can't remember offhand. Priest's Ring, I think, something like that. For Strength, Int, and Faith, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember offhand what the third ring is. Anyway, there's this guy. Another Lothric Knight. We know how to deal with these guys. Or at least, we should. Okay, well, I just insulted him and kicked him in the face. And now it gets serious. Yeah, what the? Wow, I didn't expect that to work. Ah, there we go. Nope, okay. Gotta be a touch more cow. Oh wait, I got the backstab, I got the backstab. Oh yeah, finish it off. Pretty clean, get some HP back. And find the Warriors of Sunlight Covenant. Artist Covenant to find the game. Or, I think. Actually, I'm not actually sure. How did I think about it? Why did I do that? Okay, that was not intentional, but okay. This, however, is... A mimic? Nope, it's not a mimic. What does it drop for me? Titanite Scales! Not, I think, super useful right now. Yeah, uh, both my boss weapons. And yes, I have the Dark Moon Longbow now. Not sure how much good it's going to do me, but, eh, it's there. Both of those weapons are there. Now, it occurs to me that I do kind of have the shortcut back to the place that I was thinking of earlier that I hadn't quite dealt with. In a sense, I have a couple shortcuts. Hmm. Well, magic of editing. Editing magic brings us here. I can't remember how you get to it in any alternate way. I thought there was an alternate way. I might be wrong. Okay, well, anyway. Ow. Ah! Oh, crap. I can't remember if that's RNG for how that moves, but at any rate, it is a bit of a problem. Ah! Ah, okay. I feel like I can't use any weapon arts if I'm stuck, but I can roll. It's a bit of a weird thing, I've noticed. A I noticed it a while back, and yes, I can backstab. Yeah, I noticed it a while back with parrying, and it seems to be the case with quickstab as well. Always a point to keep in mind. And it has actually bitten me in the butt a few times. At any rate, I think... I know there's an illusory wall somewhere around here, but I guess I just had to go up here and then smack this wall. And a illusory wall. And a... thing. Winged knight, that's what they're called. Winged knight stuff. And the... Winged Knight Shield. Yeah, Winged Knight stuff is going to be way too big. Like, if there's anything that's big and heavy, it is the Winged Knight stuff. It 
like six pounds. I think that's the heaviest armor in the game. Cathedral Knight might be on par. I don't even have Cathedral Knight. Okay, never mind. I can't even check that, apparently. That's really surprising. Oh well. I wonder if I missed a pickup somewhere. Anyway, to the other world. Okay, well, I might as well show this off because I haven't actually done this yet. As in, it hasn't actually come up for me this playthrough. I keep getting the invading another world prompt and then nothing happens. I believe this might be one of those instances. Well, if so, I guess everyone's just gone, well, inactive in my world. Maybe. I don't know. That sometimes happens. Nope. Evasion aborted due to timeout. Oh well. So much for that. Well, here's the boss fight. Let's go for it. Dragon Slayer armor. Okay. Curious how this is gonna go. Ow. Not well. So far, I am not confident. Okay, that's a good. That's better. Hmm. Okay. The thing is, I don't want to. I don't know the moves that well. Oh, except this, I know is a trick. That I know is a trick. It looks like parry timing, but it isn't. There's no getting Oh, that was his height. That was really lucky. Oh, crap. Oh, what? Ah. I mean, I haven't even gone to the point where there's RNG meteor strikes. Okay, note to self. There are sword beams. That is a thing this enemy does. So avoid the sword beams. Okay, that's a good start. Oops, I should have chained that. Okay, that's fine. We're not dead. We're actually ahead of curve. We're on curve. That's fine. On curve is fine. I, I can deal with on curve. Especially when they're shooting above my head. Oh, that's still too close. Well, crap. And that is the beam I was looking for, so we're good now, I guess. Assuming we don't get hit. Oh, but this is where RNG meteors start coming in. That bell. That's a bad bell. Not that there's a lot of good bells in this game, but yeah, RNG meteor strikes. This is going to get painful very quickly. Hopefully more for it than for me. What? I don't even understand how I was supposed to avoid that. Ah. There we go. Okay. Are we okay? Ow. I don't think so. Uh. Nope. Okay, now I've got to heal up for sure. I figured I could survive one attack, so I didn't have to worry too much. Okay, there's the explosion thing. Okay, that's good. Oh, there we go. That's what I expected. I was behind them. That's what I wanted to happen last time, except now I'm dying again. Except I'm not dying. Ah, uh, I am dying. Make her mind. Okay, I'm dead. <sighs> this boss is a pain. Hmm. 
All right, let's try with slightly more optimized equipment this time. Also, I, what? Okay, I don't see a tell for that. I guess it was blocking, just be mindful. Wait, am I? Oh, crap. That's not fast roll. What is fast roll? What the heck am I thinking? Da! Okay, well, that's... I mean, that's a thing I can deal with, actually. Ah! That's... Being hit's not so much a thing I can... Well, I can deal with it, obviously, but... Slam... Throw! Okay, there we go. But now it's the RNG meteors I have to deal with. Ah, there. Nice. Not not so nice. But hey, I'm out of the path of the RNG meteors. That's what matters to me. Ah, I'm out of the path of your attack again. Ah. I'm getting overconfident here. Let's not get overconfident. Because this thing is still as scary as it always is. Ow. Just because it's close to death doesn't make it any less scary, except when it's actually dead, which it is. Okay. Four tries. Not bad, all things considered. Oh, eh, eh, eh. can I can I do it? Maybe? Yes, I did it! I got the silver serpent wings silver serpent ring swap. Hey. That's always nice to have. But yeah, it just occurred to me that there was really no point in having any of my health recovery rings because I can't do critical attacks. It's one enemy, it's not gonna die. And I mean Ponda's right, I would still be useful, but yeah, I mainly have it for the ring of the evil eye and the critical attacks. The Ponda's left the Ponda's right eye is it's nice and supplementary, but that's about it. Anyway, that was a pretty cool fight, but we aren't really that far in, so might as well just continue exploring for a little while. Like I said, this episode's going to be half and half. Like half Lothar Castle, half Grand Archives. And as always, it's worth checking whether or not this soul is worth anything besides, well, its value in souls. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see here. I do not see anything. Ooh, crystal hail. Oh, right, that goes up. That's not actually that useful. Never mind. Where? Okay, so the Dragon Slayer Great Axe, which is not a weapon I'm likely to use. And the Dragon Slayer Great Shield, which is a shield. No. Okay. Cool. I took Good to know. And now we're at the Grand Archives, which actually means I really want to change out my hat, if at all possible. I guess I could go for the mask. It's not... Uh, I don't really like the mask. Not bad defense wise, I just want something else. The this is too bad of a magic defense to be worth it, but I wanna have something, so otherwise my defense goes down. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. This is very difficult. For the boss fight I was able to get extra weight because of the rings I was using, but I don't really want to change over to those rings permanently. Uh, I guess there's always these. I'm really concerned about magic defense. Everything else is kind of meh, but magic defense in this area is very important. Because there's another one of those crystal sages. There are mini-bosses this time. They're in a full boss fight, but still. It exists. It is worth noting. And also, there should be that, that elevator I pointed out earlier. Should be near here somewhere. Maybe it's up here. Oh, that's right, yeah, because there's two bonfires, like, within spitting distance of each other, which is one of the silliest things that the game ends up doing. More of an accident than anything, just because you always get a bonfire after the end of a boss fight, and the boss fight happens to be close to another bonfire, which I guess they forgot about for some reason. Also, gods are twin swords. Can I use those? I mean, I probably won't. It's just that it is a twin weapon. Oh, I could theoretically use it. I don't know that I would. It's just, you know, I theoretically could use it. Because it... I mean, it is straight sword, which is kind of something I'm not really using, but it's also a twin sword. So, I don't know. I mean, eh. Eh. I have my, I have my weapons for now. Go with them. But at any rate, this is, or should be... Okay, this is a different shortcut. This is not the shortcut I had in mind. 
I know that that shortcut that I found before can be accessed through here, but I don't remember exactly where it is. At any rate, Grand Archives Key, which is conveniently located right outside the doorway on a corpse. Apparently the last person here just died of starvation five steps before making it to the door, because I can't imagine any other reason why they wouldn't have just gone there. And hey, it's a Crystal Sage! Our favorite! Yeah. Wait, what I... That didn't work at all. What I want to do is cut it, and then make it go away. Well, partially make it go away. It's not going to stay that far away. But hey, it's dead now. Also, I don't remember this area very well, actually. I know I said before that this, that Lothar Castle was the first of the areas that I kind of remember, but yeah, Grand Archives were back to slightly less familiar territory. Also, hi. Hey, you are going to die. Nothing personal. I just need you dead so I can get your bits. Huh? No! I can't go down. Fine. You live today. But only today. I could restart the game to get it back, but I'm probably going to be running through that opening area anyway. Where the heck did that thing go? Eh, whatever. We have thralls with axes. Cowardly thralls with axes to deal with. Ah. Of course, thralls are generally cowardly. Speaking of which, where's Grey Rat? I talked to Patches because I thought, okay, Grey Rat, I'm pretty sure dies in this quest, but I expected to find their ashes near Lothra Castle, which, yeah, I know, is grim, but, I mean, that's kind of how things go. This is Dark Souls. If it wasn't grim dark, you wouldn't be playing Dark Souls. Also, it occurs to me I could have gone after that Titanite lizard. Eh, it was probably twinkling anyway. I mean, at this point, I honestly don't need much Titanite. I need some chunks because I have a few more chunk things to upgrade. And I guess it's the DLC content, or possibly later parts of the game, but I can't think of anything later in the base game I'd want to use. But I might want to use Sister Frida Scythe, although I plan to fight her last. But I might want to use that, because that is a double weapon, and it is a pretty cool weapon. Otherwise, I don't know. Oh, right, the wax. Of course. Wouldn't be Grand Archives without putting your without dunking your head in a bucket of wax. That's just sort of how you Grand Archives. I mean, that's what I do when I go to the library. It's just... It's just part of the procedure. You know, you have your library card, you can go for the books, and you check it out, and you have your library card, but you need to dunk your head in some wax first. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Also, the librarians are usually not this aggressive. Gotta be honest, I'm not sure this is really what my taxpayer dollars... or my tax dollars should be paying for. I'm... I'm gonna complain. However... As mentioned, this is part of the procedure. Dunking the head in wax. So I've now been waxed. I can now peruse the books. Which, speaking of which, I don't think I've actually gotten everything here. Or maybe I have. Oh, right, you have to drop down a few times in this area, too. Maybe I will just reload the game for that Titanite Lizard. I'm trying to think that would be wise, just given that I don't think I'm actually going to come back there. There's a lot of places to go. And that Titanite, that Titanite Lizard might have a good gem or something. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Never mind. I'm too far on the other side. All right, well, moot point. Continuing. Yeah, when the, Titan, when the Titanite Lizard comes back, it'll come back on the other side of the one-way drop that I went down. I haven't opened the path up back, so I can't get to where it will end up. Though I'd be wasting my time. Also, I believe I'm still waxed. See, this is why you want to be waxed, because the bookshelves have arms. And, I mean, I guess the books are just trying to read you. At any rate. Yeah, ah, there we go. At any rate, yeah, with wax, you don't get hit by anything. They just, they just don't hit you. Like, oh, no, you got wax. You're, you're good. You're supposed to be here. And they don't kick you out. Or hurt you. I mean, like I said, it's a bit of a weird library, but it seems normal to me. So, with that, I think we have run out of wax? No, we're still waxed. Good. We still have the wax. And we still have waxed people to fight. Yeah. Oh, crap! Did I run out of... No, I didn't run out of wax. I just got hit normally. I am kind of worried about that. I don't know how long the wax lasts. Like, I am legitimately worried that I'm going to run out of wax at some point during this whole engagement. And then it will be bad. Because then the books will touch me. Or the book Arms. 
I mean, if that happens, I suppose I could rewax myself. It's just when I'm in the middle of this section, getting rewaxed is not easy. Oh, and that always occurs to me that the Crystal Sage should be right up ahead. And by right up ahead, I mean, like, literally right there. In fact, it's... Where the heck are they? I know they're up here somewhere. I don't care hugely, and I actually care more about opening some shortcuts up rather than just getting whatever else is there. Kicking ladder. Ow! Oh, no, 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 you... Ah! Wow! That was unlucky. Holy crap, I did not realize you could even fall like that. Oh, well, whatever. It's not like it's hard to get through this section. It's just kind of sucks got to go through that whole area again. I'm going to re-ember. I feel like I got kind of used to having the embers from before. It's... It's nice to have. Anyway, magic weapon. The only spell I ever seem to use. And Crystal Sage should pop up here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get a bit of damage in there. Well, that's good enough. But the important thing is I opened the shortcut. I mean, it was an embarrassing death, I'll grant. But at least it wasn't completely in vain. Oh, except... Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Wait, where'd my souls go? Okay, that's a wall. That's good. That's how things should go. I'm pretty sure the sage is actually weaker than the other one. Like, just... At least, they're using weaker colors. Like, the colors they're using are of lower frequency. And I'm pretty sure that the frequency of the color in question corresponds directly to its power, to its attack power. At least, that was my understanding. Okay, this is... This was... A bit... Ill-advised. Hang on. Ow! Okay, they're... Oh! I'm getting caught in the wax. I... Can I... I can't quick step. Oh, shit! Okay, we're good now. I should probably wax myself, though. I don't know the fastest way... Oh, wait, no, I do know the fastest way to get me waxed. I just... Ah! Darn it! I do not like thrall movement. They're so good at avoiding me. I mean, I kill them eventually, but it's just, in the meantime, they avoid me, and it's a bit of a pain. Now, this is the bit I should care about. And, oh, right, they're curse hands. Crap, I forgot about that. What did I even change? Move some bookshelves around, that's about all I can see. I mean, like I said, I need to wax myself so I don't get cursed, because I forgot that that was the stake. Or those were the stakes, that it was... You know, not getting cursed. Which is pretty hugely important since that is instant death. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Maybe I should use the other weapon because it's better at crowds. Yeah, that, that works. You are... Eh. There we go. And now I can get properly waxed. As an invasion pops up. Okay, well, that's... Actually, probably a pretty good time when, if the invasion goes through to do a thing and then end the episode, but... If not, then... Otherwise, it seems like a pretty good time to just end the episode in the first little bit of Grand Archives. Although, again, as always, I seem to have gone far further than I expected to. Are you... Are, is the invasion coming? Is there invasion? I don't know if there's invasion. I'm beginning to doubt the existence of an invasion. No, could not invade. Okay. Well, in that case, seems like the best thing to do right now is to put myself in a magic weapon situation. Ow. That is splash. I did not realize that is splash. And then... Cut. 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 Ideally, cut before it goes away. Ah! Almost had it. Well, okay. It'll show up a bit later. Not sure entirely where. Not far much later, actually, apparently. Actually, you know what? Probably do. Yes, I can! Oh! Shoot. I needed to hit it. Whoa, wait, no, never mind. What? Come on, you're gonna... You... I'll get you. Oh, you're more robe than man now. There we go. Now it's gone. 
I think. Yeah, I saw the souls come in. It's dead. Oh no, it's not dead! You, you tease! Try that again. What? Oh, come on. That was almost a headshot. Eh. Oh, there we go! Finally got rid of you. Okay. That's a bit later. Oh, good. I don't have to go over there and pick up whatever it is that it drops, such as the crystal scroll, which actually gives me a lot of really cool sorceries. But anyway, this, once this guy's dead, will be a good place to cut off the episode, so if you would please just die. Thank you. Appreciate your cooperation. Anyway, so, till next time, thanks for watching, and don't forget to dunk your head in wax when going to the library. It's standard procedure.